Welcome to qualification match 14. All the teams in this match are ranked pretty evenly. We'll have to see how the scores shake out about five minutes remaining in autonomous. Remember, everything you've seen so far is pre-programmed. 49-26, a very impressive balance, but 31-47 was able to match them. So the scores are pretty tight so far. As we move into teleop, the students have picked up the controls and are now moving the robots around the field. There are two game pieces you'll see all around the field, cubes and cargos. The key thing, they're worth the same points, but it is important where you score them. The bottom of the grid is worth three points, or sorry, two points. The middle of the grid's worth three, and the top's worth five, which is why you'll see many teams like 4262, that's Galactech, attempting to place cues on the upper side of their grid. Currently, the Red Alliance is over there, 3147. That's Monster Horsepower placing one cone on the top, getting five points for their alliance and charging their way over the charge station. They are able to go over that during the course of the entire game, and many teams are using that to their advantage. 44-7 making use of cargo in their loading dock. They are protected during teleop period from other robots coming in and messing with their cargo. Currently, the Blue Alliance is taking a lead with 68 points, but not so much for the Red Alliance to swoop up behind them. We'll have to see. This will be a very tight match. 50 or 2 making their way around their competition and making their way into their loading dock. The Red Alliance is doing the same now. This is kind of the only place where they can interact with human game pieces. Sometimes it's really difficult to pick them up off the ground, so getting them from your human player through the loading station is optimal for some teams. Remember, the name of the game is Lynx. Both teams have placed enough pieces in the cooperation zone to lower that ranking point requirement. As we enter endgame, we'll start seeing robots making their way towards the charge station. Just touching it is enough to get points, but however, if it is level, there are even more points in store. The Blue Alliance already making their way into that level position. The Red Alliance trying to score a couple more pieces of game pieces to score additional points for their team. That could have been the difference for this game. Red Alliance making their way level. They have three seconds left to do that. Unfortunately, it looks like they're unsuccessful. That was it for qualification match 14. Here are your scores, qualification match 14. The winner for that match was the Blue Alliance. With a score of 113, just barely edging out, Red Alliance is 104. That will propel 44-7 into its 12th place since they have increased their ranking point average with three ranking points that match.